<laughs> Ooh, baby. I think I who baby just a little too hard that I think I pulled a rib. All right, so here's what we're gonna do today. Just how good do these HomePod mini sound? We're gonna answer that question. I'm gonna do a test with just one HomePod mini, and then we're gonna go ahead and put these into stereo mode, and we're gonna test it out with two HomePod minis, and I'll put the mic down right on top of these speakers so you can put your headphones on, and you can hear exactly what these sound like. Now, of course, the other thing that I'm gonna be thinking about here is how do these compare to the original HomePod? This thing sounds magnificent. It's one of my favorite Apple products ever made. And I'm curious, these are a lot smaller than the original HomePod. Are these gonna sound anywhere near as good? Now, clearly they're not gonna be as good, but hopefully these have the same magic that the HomePod possesses. All right, here we go. So let's get started. Make sure you grab your Band-Aids, prepare your nips accordingly. I don't wanna poke any eyes out. Now, my dear friend, Lewis Wallace, wasn't quite sure how to actually get this to open up. He said he spent about 15 minutes just trying to get the box open. Lewis, there's just a tab right here. You just pull this up just like this, and you just pull it all the way around, and it opens up just like that. Oh, whoa! That is a lot smaller than I was expecting. Are you seeing this? I don't expect this to have $100 sound. I'm gonna be honest, let's just say that right off the bat. This thing is tiny. It is actually a lot smaller in real life than I thought it was going to be. Oh, we got a little Apple logo on the bottom to remind you why you spent $100 on this. Okay, just check this out. This is surprising. I mean, look how small this is. I would say this is probably one fifth the size of the HomePod. This is substantially heavier. Okay, I'm not making any judgments yet though. I know that Apple custom designed all the components inside the HomePod mini, just like they did with the original HomePod. So let's get this plugged in. Let's get this sync with my phone and let's see how this sounds. It's got a little bit of a stiff cable too. Like it doesn't really want to straighten out. A little too stiff for my taste. All right, here we go, I'm gonna turn it on. Nothing's happening. Oh, okay, here we go. It's doing something. What? Okay, all right, well played, Tim Cook. Let's get this thing connected to my phone and let's see what kind of audio comes out of this. Okay, next up we have to pair the HomePod. This is a really sleek process. If you've never seen it done before, you just shine your camera right at it and boom, it's already paired. That is a very soft and luscious bang going on right now. Okay, it's setting up, we're almost there. <laughs> Whoa, I just heard like a few bars of some song just start pumping out of this via Apple Music. And I can already say the boom that comes out of this is surprising. Let's go ahead and test this out on Spotify. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Now is the moment of truth, the sound test. I'm gonna go ahead and start playing some music on this little HomePod mini. I'm gonna lower down the microphone so it's right on top of it. So if you want, you can put your headphones on and you can see exactly what this sounds like. Now I hope you got some real stiff five o'clock shadows going because I have just the song that's gonna take care of that in no time. Here we go, you guys ready? <laughs> Wow. This is one of the things that continually surprises me about HomePods is they just punch way above their size. When you see them, they're so diminutive and cute. You're like, oh, look at that little speaker over there. But when you turn them on, the sound that comes out of them, it sounds like a speaker that is far larger than what you're seeing in front of you. Okay, but we gotta try out at least one more song before we bust out the second HomePod mini. So let me cue up something else. Let's take the mic set up and let's take this thing for another test drive.
speaker, it sounds beautiful. Yes, it's small, but it is just pouring out that magical audio quality that effervesces out of the original HomePod. That's what I was looking for. That's exactly what I was hoping for, is that same softness, that same beauty on those high notes, the mid-tones, everything's coming together and it just sounds harmonious and it's not shrill, it's not screeching in your ear. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Now let's go ahead and pair this with its little brother and let's get two of these working at the same time and let's see if we can recreate what I've called the envelope of power. All right, let's make a little space here for this experiment. I'm genuinely excited about this. Now I have these two HomePod minis in a stereo pair. Let's give them a little bit of space. Let's bring the mic down. Let's crank up the Dr. D and let's see what these can do. The moment of truth. Okay, I'm saving my commentary here. Let's boot up a little of the Gim the Love and let's see how these sing to me on that song. We know that team's down there, right? I also know there's like five or six guys in this lobby. Desperate. For just a hint of love. Wow, wow. I feel like I'm just gonna repeat myself again. I'm really gonna try hard not to. Two of these in a stereo pair, they do exactly what two of these in a stereo pair do. They create what I call the envelope of power. When you put these together, they put you inside of the envelope. So rather than the music coming from over there where the HomePod mini is, now with two of these, the music envelops you, it's happening all around you. It's the same thing that happens with this beautiful HomePod, is it creates an envelope of musicality that you get to reside inside of. So instead of just enjoying the music happening over there on your desk, now you're surrounded by it. These things really sound magnificent. Now I will say, you have to bump up the volume on these to get the same level of audio envelopment with these than you do on the regular HomePod. With the regular HomePod, those in a stereo pair, I would never turn that up past like three clicks. They're just so powerful that if you go any higher, it's just gonna blow the toupee right off your head then all your friends are gonna know that you're bald. Now these sitting right in front of me, you probably will have to turn these up halfway, maybe a little bit higher to get that same enveloping music, but it's there. And the thing that is surprising about these, well, there's two things really. First is the fullness of the sound. These things are so small. It doesn't seem like they should be able to sound as full as they actually do. And the second thing is, is they sound beautiful. The sound reproduction is similar to the HomePod in that you get that beautiful softness to the sound and it doesn't sound money anywhere. All the different tones are delineated and you can hear stuff happening in the music that you wouldn't hear with a normal speaker. 
but it just happens in a smaller package. Now, I'm not gonna pretend that these sound as good as the HomePod does, they don't. They also don't sound as big or as impressive or as grandiose as the HomePods do. They don't, they sound smaller, but if you turn the volume up, they get pretty close, especially for something that is probably a fifth of the size of the original HomePod. And I think having two of these, especially right in front of you on your desk, it's gonna fill the area where you are with enough music for you to be happy. Now, what I'm really curious about is how are these gonna sound in front of an Apple TV? Cause they're gonna be much farther away from you. They're gonna be over by your television. The HomePods have no problem in stereo mode. Sitting in front of your television, filling the entire room with sound, I think these might struggle to do that a little bit. So I'm gonna be testing that out in a future video. So make sure that you're subscribed if you wanna catch that content. Okay, look, we gotta at least try one other song just so I can give you guys a little bit more variety on the type of music that we're listening to. Let's try something else and let's see how these HomePod minis in stereo mode perform. I don't even know what to say. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it right there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this content, make sure that you hit that like button. Make sure that you tweak the subscribe button on your way out. My name is Aaron Elijah, Gadget Hunter. I'll be back with even more HomePod content on the way. I'm gonna be pairing these against the big boys. New vids coming real soon, so make sure that you come on back. That's gonna be it for me for now. I'm gonna wrap it up, and I'll see you guys next time.